Hello, this is Marlene Dinarios here from the Latinum Institute. And in this video, we're looking at the second declension and how to memorize it really fast. You should have it learned within five minutes. And the order of the um, cases is going to be as follows. The casus recti, we put together the nominative, the case of the thing itself, and the vocative, the case of calling. We put them together just like the Roman grammarians did. Nominative and the vocative. Following that, we put the accusative case, which is the next most common case that you'll be encountering uh, in your books. So nominative, vocative, the accusative, followed by the ablative, which is also extremely common, the case of from. And then we have, after that, the case of giving, um, the dative, and then finally, the case of possession, among other things, the genitive. I'm not going to go into detail about what the cases are used for here. We're just learning the, um, the forms of, um, of the declension. So let's go over that again, because the order is extremely important. So it's nominative, then the vocative, then the accusative, then the ablative, then the dative, then the genitive. And those are the cases that we are learning. The mnemonic here is museum ui. Museum ui. If you can remember museum ui, and I'll show you how it works, you've memorized the endings for the second declension. Museum ui. We're going to use somebody's name. In this case, I've chosen, chosen Marcus, and we're going to go through this and show you how it works. Marcus. So, museum ui, we don't need the, the M from museum, it's just that uh, the useum, uh, we have this English word museum, so we'll use it to help us memorize the endings. So, Marcus ends in us, and so we have the us from museum. So the nominative, us, Marcus. So Marcus, as a the name of Marcus, just the name itself, nothing happening to it, Marcus, us, us. So you can guess what's going to be the next one, museum. E, Marke. So if you're talking to Marke, the vocative, it's E, Marke. So Marcus, Marke, museum, ui. So mus. Us e um. And so our next one is the accusative. And we can guess what it's going to be. It's going to be Markum. Markum. Museum. And we've ended our museum. We have finished with that now. So the us e um. Museum. And now we have the ui. Now this ui is two separate o's. O, o, and the letter i on the end. And this gives us our ablative. Marco. And it gives us our dative. Marco. And it gives us our genitive, marquee. And that's it. That's your second declension. Museum ui. So remember, museum ui. And extremely important, you, of course, you have to remember the order of the cases that we are using. Otherwise, the whole thing doesn't work. And I played around with this a long time to find an order that would give nice mnemonics. And I, uh, this, this, uh, this works very nicely. So let's go back to the beginning again. The nominative, the evocative, and the accusative. Then the ablative, then the dative, then the genitive. So, museum ui. And let's go in your, your, your grammar book, find some words from the second declension, and start to apply them to the rule. So, uh, if they follow the straightforward pattern, like Marcus does. So, museum, Marcus, us, and then marke, and then marcum, marco, Marco, Marchi, Museum, Ui. You should have your second declension singular learned in less than five minutes, I would say. That's it from me. Bye.